With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us explain this question to you. A long straight wire is kept along its axis. It carries a current I in the positive X direction. A proton and an electron is placed at 0, A, 0 and 0, minus A, 0 respectively. The proton is imparted an initial velocity V along positive Z axis and electron is imparted an initial velocity V along positive X axis. The magnetic forces experienced by two particles at the instant are and there are four options given. Okay, so let me draw the diagram first. So here is the situation. Uh, long straight current carrying conductor placed along x axis and current is flowing along positive x axis. And here is proton on y axis at a coordinate 0 a 0 and electron is at a coordinate 0 minus a 0. Now, as we know that magnetic field due to this current carrying conductor at this point near this point is in outward direction. Here, magnetic field is in outward direction. And value of magnetic field is mu naught i by 2 pi a. a is the perpendicular distance. And here, here magnetic field is in inward direction. This side magnetic field is in inward direction and value of magnetic field is mu naught i by 2 pi a. And it is in inward direction. Okay. Now, if proton, here you can see proton is imparted initially with velocity v along positive z axis positive z axis means outward direction so velocity of proton is given v along z axis that means k cap and this magnetic field is also along k cap so in this case velocity and magnetic field both are in same direction both are in same direction so magnetic force will be equals to zero on proton because we know that magnetic force on a charged particle is equals to q v cross b so if v and b are parallel so v cross b equals to zero okay now if you want to calculate magnetic force on electron so in this case electron is projected along x axis electron is projected along x axis with the speed v and magnetic field is in inward direction so angle between magnetic field and velocity is 90 degrees so magnitude of force magnitude of force is Q V into B sine 90 is 1. So Q is small e charge on electron and V into B is mu naught I upon 2 pi A. This is the magnitude of force. Now we talk about direction. So direction of V cross B. V cross B. V is in x along x axis and B is in direction negative z axis. So here V cross B is along positive y axis. V cross B is along positive Y axis because V is along X axis so I cap cross minus K minus K cap is equals to J cap. Okay. But charge on electron is negative so force acts on electron is opposite to the direction of V cross B. If Q is negative then force is opposite to the direction of V cross B that means force acting on electron is in negative along negative Y axis. So this is minus j cap this is minus j cap direction of force so correct option is option b zero and this i hope you have understood this explanation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today